Hey guys, Ivy here again, and welcome back to Horse Girl for Life. And today I'm going to do a video where I compare Schleich horses and Briar horses. So yeah, I'm just going to do a Schleich horse versus Briar horse video and tell you guys their differences, my dislikes about each one, my likes about each each one. So yeah, hopefully this is entertaining entertaining for you and if you are watching this video to know which one you should collect then hopefully this video helps you so yeah without saying anything else let's get straight on into this video okay so first we're going to start with schleich because if you guys know um they are my favorite collectibles so guys i actually changed my mind so i'm going to do a comparison so the first thing I want to look at in each one is their fur or hair or coat or whatever you call it. So first let's start out with Schleich. Their coat is very detailed. As you can probably see, they have little fur patterns that you can actually feel the texture of fur. And it's very realistic. It actually has each little fur strand Sorry guys, there we go. It actually has each little fur strand sculpted into it. So yeah, that's so realistic. But Briar on the other hand, I do still like their models, but they don't have any fur sculpted into them. Which just makes them look a little bit less realistic overall. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to talk about is actually the price. Because their price range is so different. So first we're starting with Schleich horses, which are usually seven to eight dollars. Oh sorry. So first we're starting with Schleich horses, which are usually seven to eight dollars. At least that's where um at least wherever I go, they're always seven or eight dollars. So they're pretty cheap. And Briar horses are very expensive. These are usually twenty to thirty dollars. I know. So if you're looking for very cheap collectibles, go with Schleich. If you're looking for expensive collectibles, then go with Briar. Also, let me talk about the size the size range. The size range in these horses are so different. So first Schleich. I honestly, I should probably measure how tall this horse is. All right, so first we're going to start with Schleich. So let me measure on them. So Schleich are around three and a quarter inches tall. So they're fairly small, but not that small. So if you don't have a lot of space, these are perfect. Sorry guys, and by the way, I am not measuring the Schleich's neck. But including the Schleich's neck, he's probably around four to five inches tall. So I'm just measuring this part of their body, not their whole head. Okay, and Briar, on the other hand, from their foot to their chest, they are around seven inches, maybe, I think maybe eight and a half inches. Yeah, so they're eight and a half inches. So they are way bigger than Schleich, which is only two and a quarter inch. Obviously, it depends on your Schleich model. Schleich model can vary in many different sizes. Um, this is kind of the average size for a Schleich model, but Schleich models do get a little bit bigger, maybe around this big, or a little bit smaller, maybe around this big, depending on if they're ponies, draft horses, or just normal horses. Now, Briar do not really range in size at all. They are only this size. I mean, some are a tiny bit bigger and tiny bit smaller, but they really just don't range in size that much unless it's a full compared to a, a dull horse. Now let's talk about their, col their coat patterns. So most briar horses don't really have a different color for their body and mane and tail. Some do, but for many of the briars that I have, I guess I only have three, but all of the briars that I have their bodies are almost the same color as their mane and tail. And if they're different, they're just a slight different color range. So, yeah, this horse is mainly mostly brown. And Schleich horses have many different color ranges and much more 
like kind of detail on their hooves. And their mane and body is almost always a different color. So yeah, I love both kinds of horses, but I got to admit Schleich is a little bit more of my love. So yeah. But I do also love Briar, just not quite as much because they're a tiny bit less realistic. And I don't have much space in my room for Briar models. And Schleich models are much smaller and much um, much less expensive. So much cheaper. Schleich models are much cheaper and Briar models are much more expensive. And Schleich models are just so much more affordable for me. <laughs> now let's talk about our hooves. So first let's start with Schleich. <laughs> okay, so first let's start with Schleich models. So their hoofs are always fairly detailed. This Schleich model has on horseshoes, but some don't. So here his hoofs have actually little lines in them. I know, I know, it's so realistic. Little lines, they have detail. You can feel the little bumps and bridges in them. And then their horseshoes are very realistic and cover all of their hoofs perfectly. Briar, I haven't seen one with horseshoes yet, but I bet some briars come with horseshoes. I am not totally sure though, because none of the briars that I have, they're all supposed to be domesticated horses and none of them have on horseshoes. But I'm not sure if some briars do or some briars don't, but this horse's feet are just plain. <laughs> and last thing that I wanted to say is they have Schleich at almost any store. Obviously not a grocery store, but many, many stores. Not even just Schleich stores. And Briars, well, they don't have these many places. So yeah, I love both these horses so much. And hopefully this video helped you choose which style of horse that you like. Or just... You enjoyed this and yeah but before we end this video make sure to give that video a big like and thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy all of my videos from horse girl for a lot for life then please subscribe and yeah bye guys